Oi lads, it's Danny here today, Bring you lot a lovely video. So today we're going to take a look at how to prove this trig identity, more precisely the sign subtractive trig identity. It's very straightforward. What you lot need to do as your first step is basically rewrite it in terms of an additive sign trig identity. What do I mean by that? Is to write it in this format right before you. So we can then apply the additive trig identity, which is the following. And the only thing that changes is that instead of B, we got negative B over here and we got negative B over there. So once you have reached this point, which you are going to, you can simplify this further by, you know, we could you see this function right here. A cos function is deemed as an even function. So that basically means that no matter what sign here, what no matter what sign you have over here, right? If it's positive or negative is still going to yield the same answer so you can rewrite this as just cos of b and over here we have sine of negative b and this is an old function therefore if you've got a negative inside the bracket you are going to have a negative outside the bracket when you use when you take the sign of this basically right so then we can rewrite it as sine of a multiplied cos of b plus cos of a times negative sine of b once we rewrite it in a more familiar format as you like could see we have basically proved the subtractive identity for the sine function so if you like enjoyed this video please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you later